The Queensland Fire Service have declared Castle Hill and Mount Stewart as the two areas most at risk of attracting fire as the start of Townsville's fire season ignites. Its terrain and dry location make it a dangerous zone. The only thing that changes our vegetation and fire behaviour is, is um, you know, if, if we have hilly terrain versus tra flat terrain, and the fire will always spread faster under certain conditions uphill than will on flat terrain. So, you know, so area around Castle Hill are always quite vulnerable because it's surrounded by people. It's very steep. It's um, it's very very dry, and, um, and it's same with uh, same with Stuart. But uh, the other part about those uh, those areas is that they have people living at the base of those compared to uh, people that may live on the top of those hills, which they don't. The Queensland Fire Service is urging local residents to prepare for the fire season, raising concern for potential fires in the warmer months to come. Responsibility of maintaining property vegetation is one of the most important steps residents can follow to manage fire outbreaks. We certainly will see fires, it's just when and where or we never know and it's you know, up to the community to make sure they're prepared for those fires. Yeah, we're always concerned with um, what the community's reaction will be to fire. And the big thing is to make sure that uh, property owners are aware of their responsibilities around repairing their property and that the fire is their responsibility. The fire service is merely there to assist them to try and contain the fire. Chittenden says that educating the public on fire safety and procedures ensures the public are informed on what precautions to take. We do have, at times, we have problems convincing the community about bushfire risk. The, the main risk that the community see in North Queensland in particular is cyclone and, and flooding. Uh, so we do a lot of work with our communities uh, through a, a position in the brigades known as a volunteer community educator uh, that work with the community to educate them about bushfire. And we think that message is getting, getting through to the community now. However, a minority of the general public still fail to take their precautions and instructions seriously. They fail to prepare. Uh, I'd suggest they fail to clean up, they fail to listen to any warnings. People not having batteries and radios, for example, to listen uh, to uh, media, um, hot, um, media updates in relation to where the fires are and what, uh, how bad they are. Chief Superintendent Steve Barber says most common fires are not accidental. Um, we have had a number of challenges this particular uh, fire season in our region uh, where 70% of our bushfires have been deliberately lit. They've been uh, lit by persons or persons unknown. Chittenden says the planning process of back burning and reduction burns begin earlier in the season. Well, we've, got a, we've got a fairly extensive um, mitigation program that happens pre-season, so from about March right through to pretty much now, uh, and areas right across Townsville to the, to the west to the south to the, uh, to the north of Auburn had major burns done in, in high risk areas. Despite the potential risk this fire season will bring, Barber says the fire crew is confident in their preparation to ensure the safety of the community. Look, we believe it's going to be a fairly challenging time for, for uh, all those um, stakeholder agencies in regard to bushfire management and bushfire control, but we'll, we believe that uh, we are fully prepared to deal with uh, any eventuality that might uh, arise. Paula Willis, JCNN.